I've been using this amazing little machine. This is a laser cutter and engraver. Look at the size of it. It's very powerful. And with this, I did this amazing rotor control balsa wood wing. And you can check that video out over there or in the description below. And I also finished this art and it took a while, but it's amazing. You can do a lot, of, a lot more with this machine. So let's check it out. The first thing I love about this machine is that it comes pre-assembled and it's really, really easy to put together. You only need to secure one arm on top of another, plug some connectors and that's it. It literally takes about 10 to 20 minutes. This is the laser module, it's very powerful and it can go up to 40 watts. I started cutting 5mm thick balsa wood right away to demonstrate the power of the laser. I could cut it with about 5 to 6 passes. Then I try cutting white foam board, the material I use to build some of my RC airplanes. But, as always, the diode lasers are not very good for cutting this kind of material mainly because it's white and will reflect some of the light from the laser. And the same will happen with any other reflective material, unless you paint it black. But what about black foam board? I tried that and it was a success. This machine is very precise and powerful. Now I can cut plywood without any problem. It takes a little bit of experimentation to know which settings to use. I'm also using a software called Lightborn, which works very good with this machine. And here I'm cutting some vinyl graphics in black, which doesn't require too much power from the laser. I'm gonna warn you that cutting this material creates a very nasty smoke, so good ventilation is needed. And as I said in the beginning of the video, I used this machine to cut some balsa wood pieces for making RC airplanes. And that's mostly what I would use it for, and it's amazing doing that. Here are some of the images of me building and flying that balsa wood wing. Then I moved on to another of its capabilities, which is engraving images onto surfaces, in this case, wood. So I prepared this image beforehand and then put it into the software called Liburn, which is the one that I'm using. It's a paid software, but it creates great results and it works very good with this machine. But they include a software with this machine that you can download from their website. So just go ahead and download that software from their website to engrave images and cut and do everything. First I did a small test and I tried two different ways of engraving and then I went for the real thing. Whenever you're using this machine remember to always wear your glasses, that's for safety and that way you protect your eyes. Of course the glasses are included with the machine along with other accessories and you can also buy extra accessories if you need them like the air assist which was given to me, but because I don't have an air compressor, I'm not using it, but it will prevent a lot of carbonization and it will improve the results of cutting and engraving. So here is the process of engraving the image onto the wooden surface and it took very, very long. I think I could have selected a higher speed to do this process, but because it worked well during the test with these settings, I decided to go with those. It is barely using 35% maximum of the laser power when doing some of the parts of the image, so I think I could have gone a lot faster with more power. To engrave the entire image took about two and a half hours, but the quality and precision is great. This metallic object painted in black can be engraved with this machine as well. The same is true with acrylics.
and you can test it with different materials. Of course, different materials will produce different fumes and some of them can be toxic. As you saw, this machine is very versatile and powerful and it's very precise. So, you know, precision is very important when building this kind of structures for building, you know, flying wings like this one out of balsa wood where all the pieces have to be extremely precise for everything to fit perfectly and no deviation in the wing. So everything is aerodynamic and perfect. So it's my perfect tool now for making this kind of RC wings or airplanes in general or anything that needs engineering precision when cutting balsa wood or, you know, even plywood or stronger materials. So now with this machine, I can do that. And also I can engrave images as you saw with this little frame or whatever that is but it's great it's very interesting so if you want to get one of those machines i'll leave the link in the description below those are the best laser cutters and engravers that i've seen so far within that price range and they are very affordable so i'll leave the links in the description below and i'll see you next time